Many experts believe this particular piece was created around 1460 in Florence, Italy. The piece was created by a man named Fra Filippo Lippi at the request of Cosimo de' Medici who wanted to send a gift to the King of Naples. Fra Filippo Lippi lived from 1406 to 1469 and many experts agree that he created the piece towards the end of his life, which coincided with the beginning of the early Renaissance. Although he created other pieces, such as the Annunciation and the Seven Saints, the Madonna and Child with Two Angels was certainly his most famous. Interestingly enough, the painting was done using tempera on wood. Tempera was a fast drying paint made of eggs, and paintings made in this form typically lasted a very long time. Compared with other Madonna and Child paintings, Lippi's painting is much less serious and dark, likely due to the humanist movement taking place during the early Renaissance. However, even with the clear shift from the medieval period towards a more humanist style, Mary and Christ both have a faint halo which slowly disappeared in future Renaissance paintings, indicating that this painting was one of the first of a new style. Realism was another emerging movement during the early Renaissance that Lippi embraced. In fact, the faces were probably inspired by real people on the streets of Florence. Additionally, the landscape behind Mary and Christ is quite realistic. The detail in which Mary's dress is embroidered also adds to this realism. Overall, Lippi intends to make it so people can relate to this painting, which he effectively does with its precise details that also create a sense of love in the painting. What's interesting about Filippo is his upbringing. Filippo Lippi was born in Florence. His father Tommaso was a butcher and he was very young, both of his parents died, and he was forced to live with his aunt, who could not support him due to her poor financial situation. Due to this, she placed him in the local convent, and at the age of eight, he started his education there. In 1421, Filippo became friar, and for this reason in Italian, he is called Fra Filippo. During the 30s, he moved from Florence to Padua, and according to Vasari, during a short trip by boat, Lippi and some friends have been kidnapped and enslaved by the Moors. One day, after more than a year of being enslaved, Filippo made the portrait of his master on a wall using a piece of coal. Moors did not know painting, and so they considered Filippo's art a miracle, and released him. In 1437, Lippi came back to Florence and opened his own workshop, and in the following years, he worked for many important Florentine families and even for Palazzo Vecchio. However, it is known that he was involved in some trials and he had several economic problems as well.